There's still a man in the driver's seat, but this combine steers itself by GPS. And there are still men in the fields, but this modern farm runs on big data. Everything on this nearly 20,000 acre Indiana farm is tracked, from the moisture of the soil to the precise productivity of every few square yards of corn. Right there's the irrigation stop on the old Google map, and then here in a minute, we're about ready to enter it, we'll see our yield drop off. You see it's starting to drop down from 250. With data streaming from soil sensors, combines, and satellites, Tom Farms manages an immense amount of information through its cloud computing system. It's all geared towards increasing yield. The reality is that technology is expensive and out of the reach of most farmers. But for those who have adopted it, life looks a lot different and feels a little less backbreaking. Got some great yields coming back on our reports. So good. Yeah, I think right now we're we're up around 220 bushel on oh. the commercial corn average. So oh my good, that's good. That's Kip going. Tom is the seventh generation of the Tom family to work this land. Unlike his predecessors, he mostly runs the farm from behind a bank of screens. Go in here. Open up some gates. Everett Tom, Kip's dad, still lives on the farm. And though it's a small part of the farm's operations, he still gets up with the cows. You might think this is a little early for an old man to get up, but he's used to doing it all his life. He keeps it up. The other one went on back to, to the lot. We'll pin these up and then we'll, that will come in in a little bit. I can remember walking behind my dad plowing with that front one bottom plow with horses. And then as time progressed on, I can remember when we got our first tractor with a plow. Oh my goodness, was that ever throw in the dirt? Come on, come on. You want to move off the site just a little bit? We put in the first two irrigations in the area. There we go. Early 70s, I'd say it was. I'll be back out in just a minute. Because the year before we had yields down to 22 bushel, that don't fly very long till you got financial problems. When we got in the 80s, that's when the farm prices began to hit. We had farmland go from $3,000 in value down to maybe $1,000 in value. I remember going into the bank and clinging to the edge of the desk, asking the banker for a 21% loan on to grow a crop that I might make 10 or 15 cents a bushel on. It, it, uh, sometimes you wonder whether you'd ought to be farming or not. And there did be, a, was a lot of farmers dropped out. They have, they have hay and grass out in the lot where they're at all, all day and all night, but in here they just get grain. You can't just put in eight hours a day and be a farmer. I was a pretty good runner. Local uh, coach in town wanted me to run. And uh, my dad says, no. Said, uh, boys are meant for work, not, not play. He probably actually made a workaholic out of me, but that was a lot worse thing than that. Everett's hard work paid off in the 1980s. As other farmers dropped out, Tom Farms doubled down on land. To pay the bills, they needed to get the most out of what they had. That's when the march toward the high-tech farm of the future began. It discouraged us a little bit, but at the same time, that was the beginning of offering a lot of opportunities for us to grow. You know, I, I just seen a better model for agriculture, one that embraced business principles. Tom Farms has adopted a wide range of technologies that have helped the bottom line but Kip sees the biggest difference in his personal life. When we look back the way we used to grow our farm, it was with horsepower, additional fertilizer, and just harder work. Today, we want to say we're farming smart. So all of a sudden, we can spend some time with our families a little bit more often than what we used to because we're using a lot of these technologies to change our lives. When my kids completely take over or my grandkids come to the farm, I don't think we'll have people driving tractors. <laughs> 